in my life. Josh has been very supportive through all of this. He has kind of been my rock. He is the dad that I've kind of always wanted because he's always been supportive. He always lets me know that I'm cared for and that I'm loved, and I never really felt that. Bye. Love you guys. Good luck. Thank you. Me too. Autumn and Madison, they are probably some of the most fun people that you could ever hope to be around. I feel very blessed to be in their lives. My stepdad does things that a father should be doing, like take me to appointments. If I'm having a bad day, he'll send me a text saying, I love you, just know that I'm thinking of you. A lot of Madison are my daughters. There's no two ways about that. Our family works for a lot of reasons. We're a family, we've always known that. The girls think so highly of my husband, but Chad makes the girls feel guilty about how they feel about Josh. Josh has been a godsend to me and my children. This is a painful thing to you, right? Yes. You hit it right on about just driving a dagger right in. I mean, no parent wants to, to hear that. Yeah, I've made mistakes. All of us have. No one's perfect. I don't see how that warrants me as not being considered as their dad and their stepdad is. When the girls go with you, to they know. just want your time. When they're with you, they don't want you in, the phone, in your phone. They don't want you on dating apps. They don't want you taking naps. You have such limited time with them. And I try to take and advantage of every minute. you have such a nasty temper. It, you have such a quick temper. They're on edge a lot of the time. The things that you've done to them, you have manipulated them. You have used them to stalk ex-girlfriends. You have had them lie about things. They don't want a relationship with you, but I don't know that that's right either. And my feeling is if there's something wrong with you, like you really need help, then I, I hope that Dr. Phil can help. So one day maybe they will want a relationship with you. But if you're just some evil guy that doesn't care about anybody's feelings but your own, then I want you to leave us alone. We're upset about how you make us feel. And we wouldn't be in the situation where you have to not see us. If I have tried multiple things to try and have you see how I'm feeling, because I, I see your side. I see why you're upset. I see why you're angry. And you send us voicemails of you crying, and I understand that you care, but it feels like you're manipulating at the same time. When, when I call you, I don't cry 